Welcome back. It's that time once again for a new run in the Hell Mode mod. All right, Unknown is the only choice we have right now, so that's obviously the character we're going to run here. We'll do the usual. The Zeke maybe make him just a tad bit taller. That's about it. Throw some clothes on here. And so we don't have any global experience here in the Hell Mode version, so... What we're going to have to do is start from scratch. So we always start with Remise. That is the way to go. And since we're unknown, we have access to Thaumaturgy. So we're going to start working on Continuous Mind Sense eventually, but we have to have continuity. So, actually, I guess we'll start with Calm, because that's the next one we would want anyway. And we do have the Prerex, which is namely nothing. So that's good. All right, so... This will be the first time going back into Hell Mode since the stable release of uh, the latest public version of the of Vanilla. So our combat speed is, you know, the new quicker version. The enemy's combat speed is the new quicker version. Uh, so yeah, this is cutting edge stuff here. All right, read that. Get that out of the way. Drop it. Pick up the torch. Uh, as always, we need to go over here real quick and grab this sphere. That's an upgrade sphere, of course. You use it to upgrade the condition of weapons and armor. And we'll be starting with this, the wood debris. In other words, wood with nails poking out of it. There's the credits for Hell Mode. There's the Discord link. Let's go. All right. It has been a while since I've played Hell Mode, so this should be quite interesting. Oh, wow. I missed. That was close. That was almost a disaster right from the start. That's good. I was trying to knock him down. Yeah, it worked. All right. Yeah, I just wanted to knock him down so I could get away. And it actually worked. All right, you're taken care of. That was decent. And I keep kind of pulling up a little short. There we go. All right. First fight's not too bad. So here's a leather cap we'll throw on. Some leather gloves. A tunic. And that'll be that. Go we'll check this other body. Uh, these boots will be fine for now. This tunic is a little better. We'll take the sash. Whoops. Right. I'm trying to click on the sash here. There it is. As for weapons, there was the carpentry knife. I just don't really want that. Now, the hatchet could be decent. Let's see. It is decent in good condition. All right. Well, whoops. Let's equip the hatchet then. The wood debris might actually be better for me right now, but we're going to go with the hatchet anyway. Let's see how it works. Too far away again. Nope. Oh, he, he pulled the attack. We got real lucky. That's good, that's good. Eh, okay. Kind of works. Let's use the ports to our advantage here. See if they stumble. Yep, they did. There we go. Alright. Cloths, or, yeah, quilted trousers. I mean, they're not that good. This is better than our tunic. These boots, they're not quite... What we're looking for. These, on the other hand, are much better. These are slightly better quilted trousers. This thick padded cap is definitely better. Uh, this gambeson is not great, but it's better than nothing. Some fan braces, not bad. And we could put the waistcoat on for now. There was a two-handed axe, and I think, yeah, more carpentry knives. Don't want any of those. All right, so there is a long knife. That I don't know. Those stats look pretty good. They look pretty good, but I I don't know. Do I want to stay with the hatchet? Because I like having the crush damage as well, which the long knife does not have. That's better than the sash. We'll stay. Yeah, we'll stay using the hatchet for now. But, you know, with the hatchet, you have to be so much more precise. With the long knife, when you're doing overheads, you just got to hit them with it, basically any part of the knife. Well, this 
Gotta be more precise. Oh, that was a close counter there. There we go. Right. All right. I did. I once again started way too far back, but we did hit him. Same story. I'm starting extra far back because of the range of his, the reach of his weapon. Man, come on, you just gotta do it. Last chance. Oh, uh, maybe not. There we go. Not pretty. <laughs> Not pretty, but so be it. Let's see if we get something cool here. Uh, yeah. Mail vest. There we go. Throw it on. Of course, it's adding more encumbrance. And it's going to take a long time before we get the maneuvering and armor skills. Uh, so we're going to be moving pretty slowly for a pretty long time. Now, this door is barricaded in hell mode, so we got to go this way. Oh, it's broom lady already. Usually further back. Oh, man. I missed. I missed. Boy, I kind of don't like the hatchet. Thank you. And eh, keep getting too close now. It's the opposite of earlier. <laughs> See, I keep hitting him with the wooden part of it. It's basically doing nothing. Oh, I thought I'd get there that... Oh, look at that. Might as well just slash at this point. All right. That's a better waistcoat. And, uh, yeah. Well, that's about it. All right, where did we end up? Well, we ended up all the way down here. All right. I can't wait. Oh, man, I almost want to go back for that long knife now, but I'm not going to do it. Stick to my guns here. Hopefully we don't get... Ambush while we're fighting this zombie. Oh, that was so close. That was nice. Oh, nice. I already killed her, thank you. I appreciate the, uh, the team spirit, though. Alright, we're going to throw that vest on now. A slightly better coat. Uh, yeah, now we're good on that. Let's compare these real quick. Same, except these are in fair condition. The others are in fairly good. I, I don't know which is better. We'll just stay with what we have. Yeah, okay. Alright, so... By the way, in case you're unfamiliar with Hell Mode, I guess I should have mentioned this earlier. <laughs> it's just a lot more monsters, a lot more zombies, and uh, a lot of the furniture and things like that have been rearranged to create different uh, pathways that you need to take and stuff like that. And uh, as you go further in, you see more and more clever changes to things, and it's, it's all overall very impressive. When you get to the later floors, it's extremely difficult. And routinely makes me angry, but uh, it's good. Alright, we got Spalders, we got a better Gambeson. Uh, good, alright. And there is our compass. As always, I'm forgetting to get gear for Darren. It's not Darren in Hell Mode, technically, it's Baron, but it's the same guy. Actually, I think he starts with some decent stuff. That's right. He starts with some de decent stuff in this mod, so it's not that big of a deal. I don't remember what all exactly he starts with, but he's got good stuff. Not like vanilla. What are you... what are you doing? Ah! Eh. I over or overcompensated way too much in the wrong direction there. 
I should be doing more slashes than overheads if I'm using the hatchet. I really should. Alright, this is an even better vest. Uh, that's all the same. And then he had a handsaw. I should have gone back for that long knife. I should have just taken it. I mean, I still can, but there's another one coming up. It may not be as good, though, so who knows. It's fine. It is fine. Where are you at? There you are. Got a clinch. Ah, uh, hit the pillar. Oh, she parried it. Oh, man. That's good. Oh, I accidentally brought up my thaumaturgy bar somehow. How did I do that? What did I... <laughs> I don't know, but we just used temporary mind sense, which is the one you start with. Oh, cool. Better gloves. Whoops. Switch them out there. I don't need that either. And, uh, we're good on the other stuff. Eh, I think these are a little bit better. If not the same. Whatever. Alright, cool. Whoa! I thought... Thought... That would be an empty space right there. Did not expect you to be there. Where are you, where are you going, man? Oh, I thought he went further back. He actually tricked me there. So this dude is all, like, scared, I guess. <laughs> I couldn't see, otherwise I would have knelt down, crouched to hit this guy. Like I'm doing now. But yeah, That's alright. This guy just, he does not want to attack, man. His morale is totally broken. Little side-to-side -side dodge action there, you know what I mean? Okay, yeah, whatever. We'll put these on. Uh, he had a hammer, don't care. Alright, so we have Remise. The next thing we're going to work on is maneuvering armor 1, then we'll start working on thaumaturgy stuff. Yeah, and a cage bar. Okay, what do you got? No, no, nothing special, nothing special. Oh, was there someone back? There was someone back there. Yep. Whoa! Nope, 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 nope. Had to clinch. There we go. Alright. Eh. Nah. I know better than to even attack when the, the top of the doorway is obscuring part of the view. I know better than to even... Just don't even bother. Just wait. Alright, so here's a long knife, which is, yeah, it's not as good as that other one, but uh, we're going to use this one now, so I don't care. Does this one even do... I don't think it has thrust. Oh, it does have a half circle of thrust damage. And that is certainly better than nothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, what are you going to do now? Oh, I accidentally turned Mind Sense on again. It's just the temporary Mind Sense that only lasts. Oh, you know what just occurred to me, I think. That's what it is. I forgot that when you do a fresh restall, restall, reinstall of Hell Mode, I have to change my settings. I always forget about this. I'm sorry. Crouch. I, that's why all these weird things keep happening. Oh, hold on. So we have to change. Alternate attack to Q. Okay, so it's already in use. Oh, man. Okay, so use power becomes tilled, usually. And I usually put power bar on caps lock, I think. And then, uh, let's see. Alternate attack becomes Q. Cursor look is space. Did I not change C? Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. All right. Now, the reason I did not edit that out of the video is because, in case you are curious, 
about my keybinds. Those are the only things I changed. What you just saw, that's how I always do it. I change crouch to C. I change alternate attack, which is thrust, to Q. This is the... Th no, that's, a, that's not the thrust. Let me try this again. There we go. I missed, but yes, that's Q. That's alternate attack. And again, I changed... Space now centers the uh, camera behind me. <laughs> so many weird little things kept happening, and I didn't want to keep mentioning them. And then it finally dawned on me what was going on. Alright. There we go. Alright, that dude finished him off for us. Cool. Alright. Okay. So, yeah, we have those. Got that covered. Have that covered as well. Uh, we have a better Gambison. You have a better cap as well. All right. And the two-handed woodcutter's axe, I just, I'm not going to pick that up. Can't really use a two-handed weapon until you have a C in the dark helmet. I mean, you can, but I just, I like keeping it simple. Torch in one hand, one-handed weapon in the other. Until, you, you know, you get the C in the dark stuff. All right. Let's move out here where there's a little more space. Yes! There we go. Alright. Uh, and what did you have? Uh, handsaw. Come on. Is this the guy with the little short bill hook? Because I love that thing. Yes, it is. Alright. Oh, I wanted to pick that up, but I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take a chance. See the stats real quick, but it's the reach of this that I like. It's it's basically the long knife, but with a little better reach on it. I don't think you can thrust with it, but that's okay. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do here. Oh, I can't believe I parried that. That was a mistake on my part. We got real lucky. There we go. Uh, nah, we're good on all that. Glasses don't do anything. Yes, you can wear them, but you know, they don't do anything. Alright, this is always good here. Half south. Uh, oh, now that great axe is kind of nice. I think I'll keep it in the inventory and just set it as a secondary for now, just in case. That bill, that's an interesting looking bill hook right there, but I'll stick with what we have. And remember, you get XP for uh, reading scrolls and stuff. So you just, if you've already read them a thousand times, like you know most of us have, you just click it real quick and then close it. Get the XP, no big deal. All right. This always, this fight gets interesting because of the confined space. Oh my god, he killed him! Because of the confined space and the three zombies. Uh oh. I usually just back out this door. I was hoping to not have to do that this time. What is going on with you? You're dead. That's what's going on with you. Alright. Alright, so. Traditionally, this is the part where I get my first red health damage in hell mode, usually. Because we have to fight a skeleton mini-boss dude who's really quick, and he has a dagger, and he's really annoying. Really annoying. So here we go. That's when he gets you right there. He always gets you right after you attack, and you know you have to move in for it. He always, yep. See, he always gets you on the counter. That's why I'm trying really hard to parry those. Not really. Oh, you got me. It's not really working. Technically, I shouldn't really be using slash damage against a skeleton. It works, but it's not as good as crush damage. Oh, I meant to go right to left, not overhead.
All right, he's dead. All right, so like I said, uh, yeah, we took red health damage. It always happens. So he's got a really nice dagger. I just don't really use daggers. Uh, so it, yeah, I totally expected to take that damage. It's not a big deal. Now we know calm. Uh, we're going to work on trust. All right. Grab this key. All right, so that's where we're going to end this episode. So thank you, as always, for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate that very much. Hope you're enjoying this new run of the Hail Mode mod. So please hit like and subscribe if you would like to. And I will see you all next time.